Welcome to the Park Hotel Vitz now, that is the Palace of Opulence, which has been providing me with this view every morning. <laughs> the decadence here is next level. Look at this. The artwork and monuments, I mean, they literally have a rotating bull fighting a bear in a fountain on this lake. I think that um, that statue alone sums up everything about this wonderful place. Anyway, unfortunately, it is my last day here, but before we fly home today, we're taking the magnificent Rolls-Royce Phantom to go and build a boat. That is doing it a disservice, I, I think, so I will, I will reserve too many details until we get there, but rest assured, it's gonna be awesome. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I work a lot with 8Js. Uh, we have a clothing line coming out together. Those guys are based in Switzerland, and while I'm here, I had an order of clothes sent out to me. I didn't really think that one through because when I packed to come here, I packed really light in a really small bag. And now I have all of, the, <laughs> all of these clothes, polo shirt, polo shirt, cool jacket, the shoes, the shoes came while I'm here. So I'm gonna have to think of the logistics of packing all of this in here and then leaving this magnificent hotel room. raining so much but I had to come outside and show you and just how fabulous this place is of course get a much closer look at the bull and bear this is an incredible hotel apparently the renovation was over 300 million uh, and as part of that which I will show you shortly um, is a is a wine cellar with about 16 million pounds worth of wine in it that kind of gives you an idea of the level of things which is going on around here. But of course, what launch of a car wouldn't be complete without putting one in the grounds by the lake. So just while we have the car in front of us, uh, one very subtle feature which denotes the extended wheelbase car from the standard wheelbase car is this chrome trim, this line which is on the lower sill. That means it is the EWB, the extended wheelbase. Anyway, we're gonna have plenty of time for car talk in a minute when we hop in our own Phantom, but I need to find this wine cellar. Things like this really wanna make me step my game up. I mean, this is the decoration for the wine cellar. It's unbelievable. I think the attention to detail here makes you wanna step up your own game so, so much. This is my favorite room. Unfortunately, I don't have access right now, but the architecture of the storage and shelving in here you know, they haven't just gone, let's stick a load of expensive wine down in a cold cellar. They've made every experience of this place a real interaction for uh, everyone staying here. Yeah, case in point, this is, this is some art installation within a, a wine cellar. And there's more rooms here. The display is out of this world. One of my favorite features of this hotel is they have painted and decorated the inside of the lift shaft. And this one literally has free falling Roman coins falling from the sky. <laughs> and then there's much more intricate detailed artwork all the way up to the very top story. Seriously, I'd love to meet the architect, designer, and owner of this place, but they're all monumentally fascinating people. Anyway, to the Rolls Royce. Your Morning. I found your car. <laughs> Look this at this. This is the black badge. Black, but dark blue. Oh, we were only commenting on this earlier. Have you heard this thing? No. We, I've just so discovered they have a sports exhaust on the... Six tailpipes. <laughs> three. <laughs> three. This thing wow. sounds like an Aventador. <laughs> James, well, buy it. Well, they actually are V12s. Buy it. It's amazing. Look at the trim. We, I was only saying... We got picked up in the evening in the dawn, dawn. and I was like, if I was to spec a dawn, it would be this colour. Dark blue, and <laughs> it would be a black badge. Dark blue. James, I found your car. Oh, Just no. Right, you know we're really late, by the way. Are we really late? Ah, really oh, this, this, oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Thanks very much, guys. It's been wonderful. See you later. Yeah. Be in touch soon. This is a new one. Oh, it's new, so oh, the, it feels so different inside. White is nice. Isn't it? Thank you very much. 
white as night. Nice. Because you wouldn't have to maintain it yourself, would you? Because Alfred would maintain it for well, you. Well, of course. Yeah. yeah, so gene stain wouldn't be a thing. So yesterday we spent most of our day inside a phantom which had uh, black and turquoise interior. Yes, yes. Legitimately, like <laughs> actually, actually black turquoise, with like yeah. iridescent turquoise <laughs> contrasting panels. Really pops on the video. Very yeah. cool though. Um, and it's, it's great to hop into all these different specs. Yeah, absolutely. It transforms the, the whole feel of them. Wood is different. This one's it's got nice. contrast wood. Yeah. That's the thing, it looks bigger than it is until you put a massive laptop there. And where's this quite far away as well? Mm. Yeah. Cool, but is this this is the standard, standard wheelbase, right? Yes. Which is still huge. Look, I have I know. lots of room. And I'm behind the driver. I suppose if you're if you're ultra passengering, you would want to be behind the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Way forward. Is this the future yeah. of your oh. channel? Uh, editing videos in the back of a Rolls Royce. So picture this. Remember this situation. If all goes to plan, <laughs> this is where I shall edit from in the future. <laughs> <laughs> We're going boat shopping? We're going boat shopping. Oh. Bags away. All right. Head inside and see what's what. Oh, wow. Please we are. come in and what, uh, wow. watch your step, please. Wow. Thank you. Wow. wow. About the tree. Dude, this, is, <laughs> this is huge. It smells amazing. Upstairs. Okay. You had a nice trip. It's been great. It's been fantastic, thanks. Okay. Yeah, from start to finish, we've had some really special experiences. Okay. Yeah. Well, where do you find this wood? Where is it? Swiss wood? Is it? No. Uh, pine, yes, it's local. But uh, mahogany, it's uh, central of Africa. And the teak is uh, Indonesia. Wow. Uh, we have to order that, that uh, wood about 10 years before we use it. Ten years. Yeah, you wow. order the wood ten years in advance. Yeah, but wow. As in, okay. you pick the tree, or you order the no. wood from Africa or Indonesia ten no. years. No, uh, the company who delivered this tree uh -huh. call us, and say we have a nice tree for you. Yeah, it'll be ready in <laughs> really? ten years. Really ten... <laughs> wow. Oh, you're gonna dress it in. Ten years lead time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's some good. I planning. thought the lead time on a phantom was long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten, ten years for your tree. Yeah, incredible. That's really expensive. Yeah, I bet. Mid cube costs about three thousand eight hundred Swiss francs. And really? A tree like this. Yes. Have so much cube. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, how long have you been building boats for? Uh, one hundred years. One hundred years. Yeah. Right. You look great. You're looking yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Almost half the time. <laughs> okay, <here>. half time. <laughs> wow. okay. How long? I guess it depends on how big the boat is, but uh, how, how long does it normally it need, take? It needs this one ten months. Ten months. Minimum. Between three and a half thousand and six thousand men hours. Oh, hours. Yeah. Down, and then you can see that. So you know? this. For the wood you use to make length. sure that the whole length is yeah. perfect, just with this one piece? Yeah. Wow, you need oh, to know yeah. what you're doing then. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how many years experience does the, the average builder working on these boats have? Uh, 20 years, I think it's really? minimum. Wow. You can 20 years. Like this. Decking. 
is the feature that we were looking for on the this dawn. On the, the dawn, dawn yeah, last night. absolutely. Hold on, so we're going to have a. Oh, something's happening. Oh, oh, check it out. Here we go. Here we go. And this is where the magic happens. So, how much horsepower? It's not so much, it's so much? 320. 320, okay. So, okay. <laughs> you, wow. can, you can order every engine that you want. Really? You fit anything yeah. that works okay. for the boat? Yeah. Have you had any crazy... A week ago, <laughs> I had uh, a customer here. He liked to build in uh, Formula One, Ilmore. Oh, he okay. wants, it was yeah, a Formula yeah. One engine in, yeah. in his boat. Yeah. I want to meet that guy. Well, that sounds amazing. That sounds you know amazing. What? This is so weird. It has, has about 720 uh, horsepower. <laughs> now that's a feature. That makes me want to build a boat now. I <laughs> know what? Like, I, dream I, up an engine. I want to be fan of the sea, but now oh, I know? really want a boat. I know the lake. I know, yeah, the lake. Lake's I now okay. really want a boat. That <laughs> <laughs> is. Yeah. There we go. That sounds, that sounds like a hot rod. Yeah. Oh dear, this is, a, this is getting more, oh, uh, more appealing by the second. Can you listen to that? Fantastic. <laughs> what a toy. Chrysler V8. What a toy. Chrysler V8? I do not like an LS1 engine just I love chilling in a boat. that you can transplant any engine you want into it. So that's that sad. makes it so exciting. An LFA engine? Oh. Oh, yeah. With the exhaust. We just go to the boat show. Oh my god! And, yes. and, and, and just cruise around on, yacht, start, on yachts all summer. Should we start a collaborated boat channel? I think we should do that. That would be good. Yeah. You've had one successful boat video. Thank boat you very much. And that was fantastic. Enjoy oh, the rest of the That was an honor and a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right, I'm going to throw my brochure in here. You know, just in case I decide to order one <laughs> when I'm 40. <laughs> oh, here we go. What is life right now? Uh, I'm just like, well, how can we go back to normal normality? <laughs> well, we're about to in about four or five hours. So the last day. Uh, yeah, to step off that boat into this car. We need to work harder. I know. We need to work yeah. a lot harder. Yeah. I've, been, I've been surprised at how much attention the uh, car gets. Yeah. Like yeah. When we're driving along, the amount of people who stop and stare and take photos of it, I'm not sure if it's just because it has massive road presence. It does. Like, yeah, these things have that. their own scale. When we got dropped off on, on day one, yeah. and the other Phantom started to arrive, and punctuated between each one, there'd be like a, a BMW 3 Series. Sure. And it looked like a hot hatch yeah. in comparison. Cause <laughs> and then there's this vast tank of a road yacht that follows behind it. They're their own yeah. size. And I don't think people go like, oh, that's the new Phantom. They're just like, <laughs> They're just like what is wow, that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. There's so much road presence. All right, it is all quickly coming to an end. And now back at Zurich Airport. Really gonna miss these cars. Interior on this one as well. Let me just give you a quick peek of the the driving zone in here. It's lavish, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I don't I didn't realise how much I'm really starting to fall for this car. I, I really quite like this feature. Like if you tap that, the doors close on their own. Check it out. There it goes. Great feature. Thank you so much for that, mate. You're welcome. Cheers. Bye Phantom. Really hope I get in one of those again soon. Back to reality, Sam. Oh, <laughs>